Hello Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 16th of January until the 22nd of January 2017. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Nine of Wands. You are so close to completing a particular project or task but at the last minute, you are faced with yet another challenge or setback. Know that you have the inner resources necessary to overcome any difficulty you encounter, even though it may seem impossible at the time. You are so close to finally achieving success, do not give up now. The Nine of Wands is a sign of hope and encouragement that if you stand firm and strong against your challenges, you will achieve your goal. The challenges before you now are only the last bit of darkness before the break of a wonderful dawn. The Nine of Wands is like the one last test or challenge before you can reach ultimate success. You feel as if you have come to the end of your fighting powers but you have the skill and determination in reserve. You are in a position of strength and by drawing upon all of your courage and abilities, you will prevail. Once the last obstacle is overcome, you are home free. The Nine of Wands encourages you to be resilient. You will continue to be opposed by hidden enemies and your interests will be questioned. Even in the face of such adversity, when you are feeling battled and bruised, you need to be patient and vigilant. Be assured that you will eventually prosper if you maintain your position. And remember, if you do not succeed at first, then try again. You may have experienced setbacks that now leave you feeling distrustful of others or even yourself. The turning point will come when you are able to leave the past behind you and to cultivate a more open mind about the future. While you have experienced losses in the past, it does not mean that you have to experience further losses in the future. Turn a new leaf and push on. Sometimes, the Nine of Wands encourages a risk-averse approach. You need to expect the worst and therefore take extra precautions to avoid any negative consequences to your plans. You need to be on guard and wary of any potential obstacles or opponents who may stand in your way. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Queen of Wands. What do you want most right now is to be bold and courageous in your undertakings and actions. Your creative energies are high and you have a good sense of your life direction. You are highly optimistic, confident and full of ideas that you are ready to implement and share with others. You have an ability to express your passions with great authenticity and courage. The Queen of Wands is a natural extrovert and enjoys being the center of attention. She creates a powerful first impression and is a likable individual who makes friends easily by being sweet, warm and charming. She wants to be known, to be someone. She has bountiful social and professional networks and she draws people to her with her charisma and positive energy. She radiates health and vitality and has an inner vibrancy that fills her with ongoing energy and inspiration. This queen is a natural born, intelligent leader who actively inspires others. She can be quite the mover and shaker, influencing others through her vision, courage and determination. She instills confidence within you and gives you the power and self-assurance that you can achieve anything that you set your mind to. The negative side to the Queen of Wands is that she can sometimes be stubborn, particularly if she pursues an ambition or goal for too long and burns herself out in the process. Even the Queen of Wands is not invincible, even if she thinks she is. At times, she may also be deceptive, overbearing, irritable, righteous and even tyrannical, particularly if you get on her bad side. She also has a fiery, passionate personality with a quick temper. She may be known to get all worked up, yell and scream, and then give you a hug, all within the space of an hour. 
The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the three of swords. You are afraid of a difficult situation where perhaps a relationship might be ended or has experienced challenging times, a loved one has passed, or you felt hurt from a situation that affected you deeply. Thankfully, this time has passed and you are on the path to recovery, realizing that with behind every cloud is a silver lining and there are indeed other things in your life which you can feel happy about. You have reached a point where you can accept the pain and hurt and are ready to move on. Overall, you are finding it very hard to move on from a recent loss or heartbreak. This card suggests that inside you are still suffering emotionally from a previous loss and need to go through an emotional purging process to allow yourself freedom from your past. You are doing your best to leave this behind and make a new life but it is still a long journey ahead. Be careful that you are not getting stuck in the moment of grief, and instead you are focused on leaving behind your past and embracing new opportunities. It is always hard to bear the pain of separation or understand why you have been inflicted with such sorrow. Learn to accept your situation so that the healing process will not become blocked. Allow yourself to experience the pain, give yourself the right to grieve and release the heartache. Let it go, and then, once the upset, pain and tears have gone, open the door to new experiences. If you are experiencing challenges in your relationships, the Three of Swords serves as a reminder to be the peacemaker. Never be afraid to say you are sorry. Always think before you speak so that you will not later regret what you have said. The fourth card for you is representing what is going for you? Your card is the Three of Wands. There are opportunities to expand your horizons, through study, travel, business enterprise and learning. You need to become more aware of the opportunities that exist for you right now as there may be more than you are aware of. To best see and take advantage of them you must concentrate, cooperate and remain open-minded. You may be more aware that your best opportunities lie outside of your current environment, so it is time to think big. Consider what you can do to open doors for yourself and create more development and self-exploration opportunities. It also signifies the changes and challenges that are up ahead and that are associated with expanding your horizons and entering new territories. Given the man in this card can see far ahead of himself, then you are likely to already be aware of the upcoming changes and challenges and can prepare for them ahead of time. Similarly, this card is also about embracing change and adopting a longer term view. It indicates you are in a position of strength as you control what happens around you. Thus, this is a card of vision and foresight and looking for greater possibilities. You are being encouraged to become a visionary and to dream beyond your current limitations. Now is the time to accept your vision and be confident that you will achieve it. Move fearlessly into new areas. Given the expanse of the water in the card, the Three of Wands often depicts travel. This card encourages you to think big in terms of where you want to travel to and what you will discover along the way. This card sees you traveling over water to a faraway country, where you will then have the opportunity to fully develop yourself and learn many new things. I see this as a wonderful card of opportunity that encourages you to be bold and take this leap of faith to truly develop who you are. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the King of Cups. You may be struggling with self-deception and or the deceptions of others, and the most important thing in this situation is to see yourself and others as they actually are, with clear and loving eyes but not foster any sense of dependence or weakness through your own actions. In term of your personal relationship, you feel quite confused about your relationship and your emotions are out of balance and out of control. You are uncertain about your true feelings, 
and every day they seem to chop and change, leaving you completely confused. You need to be careful, too, about the messages you are sending to your partner as he or she may become easily confused too if you are up one day and down the next. It is probably best to keep some distance now until you work out your feelings and are more in control of your emotional state. Finally, you need to take greater control and responsibility for your emotional state. Right now, you are a loose cannon, letting your emotions rule and flip-flopping from one point of view to another. You want to take charge of your life but then you are waiting for the universe or for fate to show you the way. You need to be more accountable for your emotional well-being. The last card for you is representing the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is the Ace of Wands. There would be a new beginning of a new idea or a breakthrough moment in your life. You are feeling incredibly inspired and enthusiastic about pursuing a new idea or project that you have in mind. You are all revved up and raring to go. Use your creative energy and passion to take the first steps and get this project underway. Even if you like to have everything planned out before you begin down a certain path, the Ace of Wands is encouraging you to listen to your instincts and follow your gut. If it feels like a good idea, it probably is. So, start with a few basic actions to get things underway, and then continue to grow and develop your ideas through more complex actions later on. The important thing is that you act now, rather than spending more time planning or researching. The Ace of Wands is also indicative of a time in your life where you have a breakthrough moment and feel very inspired and motivated about a particular idea or passion. Your eyes have been opened to a whole new world and you are now very excited about the possibilities and the opportunities that are available to you. You are showing huge potential at this time and are driven by a strong, creative force. It is as if there is a latent talent within that is just bursting to get out and be fully utilized. This is also a perfect time to draw upon your imagination and to make your dreams reality. You are being offered an opportunity here that shows great promise but it will be up to you to make the most of it and to maximize the potential for the longer term. It is almost like the spark that is needed to fuel a huge fire but you must work hard to build the fire up as the spark itself is not enough to make such a large fire. The energy of the Ace of Wands can also signify restlessness or uncertainty as to how to proceed. You may have energy and passion but not yet have a clear outlet for its expression. All of these wonderful ideas are beginning to build up from within and you are just bursting with energy but now you must find a way to effectively express this energy in a way that will set you up in the longer term. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is The Hermit This card signals that you'd benefit from spending time alone, listening to your inner voice. Meditation is essential as the path to enlightenment is an inner journey. Be silent and experience the joy that comes from seeking the truth of your own heart. Learn to feel comfortable in your own company. After all, there's a difference between being alone and being lonely. This card also signifies spiritual teaching, so it can mean that you have wisdom to impart to others, or that perhaps it's time for you to find a spiritual teacher. Sharing wisdom is part of your spiritual journey, especially right now. Additional meanings of this card, good advice. Finding or becoming a mentor. Self-discovery. Re-evaluation of plans. Going on a spiritual quest. Archangel Raziel offers sage advice to spiritual seekers, including guidance about esoteric concepts interpretation of your sleeping dreams, and past life memories. Call upon Raziel to help you find the richness that comes from meditation and spending time alone in contemplation. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just 
please click subscribe and you will get the uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.